We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for Tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Alas, from returns for you guys to smash that like button. And here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to push up higher, but struggling to get above 400. Now, it's closing out the day here and in the aftermarket hours at around $400. And it had an explosive move today to the upside and our spy bot since 9 50 a.m sent out a bull indicator and from that moment forward call options went up 200 percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge over the charts check out the link down below in the description to the discord and getting connected to our 42 vision indicators our spy bot qqq bot newly released tesla bot and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets I'm an advocate that every single investor should have clarity within their charts and have an edge because as I always state, not financial advice, but volatility is here to stay. And within this volatility, having an edge and clarity over the charts makes all the difference. It doesn't have to be 42 vision, but make sure that you're seeking clarity and an edge to maximize in either direction. Now, if you find value in what we share here and what we do, and you want to become part of a community of investors using these resources to maximize within the volatility check out the link down below in the description so here we are with the spy ranging within this consolidation area and we need to break down what 42 vision is showing and what key levels to look at and what our inflow versus outflow indicator is showing but before we do i want to share with you guys the home and opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the discord and as you see poppy up on the screen these are some of the home runs I've managed to find this week alone while not guaranteed to be this way every single time we strive for opportunities like these every single day. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this edge and clarity over the charts, check out the link down below in the description to the discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So these are the two stocks I mentioned this morning. Both of them gave jumps of three to 5%, five to 10% plus. And the home run of the day was Pixie here, P-I-X-Y. We caught this one in the pre-market under strength here on 42 Vision. The inflows were sitting sideways and above the midpoint, continued going higher, continuing strength here on 42 Vision. And within minutes, it hit a highest point of 30% plus guys. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. So here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, trying to double bottom here as we see it, but continues to struggle to break above $400, right? We talked about this in yesterday's video. We talked about it back on September 2nd. And we've talked about it towards the end of last week and the beginning of this week so far. And now here we are trying to come back towards it. So this is going to be very important going into tomorrow. Either we break through it and we try to hit newer highs or we're going to reject it or try to test a little bit above it and then quickly come back down. And this is where watching the bull and bear indicators and the inflow versus outflow is going to be critical, right? And we're going to break it all down in today's video. But before we do, I'm going to pull up the bull and bear indicators, which you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected to the spy bot, QQQ bot, newly released Tesla bot. And we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities. And you can now join the members using these resources to maximize in either direction by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts. And in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility and slots are now open for those interested. Check out the link down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator and getting connected to our inflow versus outflow. So here we are with the spy under a bull indicator yesterday, got a slight bear indicator that was very short lived. But the outflows did not cross the midpoint. That was a very important concept here to watch, right? Showing us that there was still hidden strength there. And even though the bear indicator popped up at 397 and it hit lows here of 394, it did not last long enough. That bull indicator popped up 
and full strength for the rest of the day and inflow started to pick up and stay above the midpoint we talked about this in yesterday's video that there was a slight hidden divergence here that the stock wasn't moving much but outflows were picking up and they did they picked up all the way towards the belt and popped right back up very quickly did not cross the midpoint and actually went up higher and those inflows started to pick up that was pretty impressive there to watch how that was actually turning out within the volatility as that held up above for most of the day above the midpoint here on the 30 minute and if we zoom into the 15 minute it crossed briefly here when it actually went towards the bell quickly shifted back up crossed that midpoint full upward momentum there of strength and that bull indicator popped up and full strength there on 42 vision and how those inflows started to pick up super strong move there for most of the day and even on the way back down right those outflows began you could see it on the 15 minute it actually stayed above it you could see the support there found that double bottom effect here and now it's bouncing up again now we need to talk about where it's at now within the volatility right we're above the midpoint on the 15 minute and on the 30 minute and we're under a bull indicator here again canceling that bear indicator this is going to be very interesting going into tomorrow i'm going to be watching for this midpoint to stay above these inflows and not cross it to the downside right we want these inflows to stay above and go from red to green and pull upwards guys super important to watch this going into tomorrow for this bull indicator to stay in effect and dominate over the chart and on the 30 minute same exact thing we want to stay above the midpoint here we want it to stay green and pull upwards from these levels but it is sitting sideways and the last time we sat sideways like this even though it didn't go much higher those inflows continued and right after spontaneously out of nowhere we got that bear indicator things pulled back really fast and then it crossed that midpoint here and this was on september 2nd and that was literally last friday guys now is it going to act exactly the same like it did here not guaranteed but something to watch right but if these inflows continue to pick up on the 30 minute and on the 15 minute and stay above the midpoint and pull further away at least higher than the recent high here of the inflows at 6.12 we're currently at 293 we will probably see this retest resistance levels that we need to talk about here in this chart now when you zoom out though and you look at this on the one hour right now today even though the stock continue to go higher for the spy there's been some outflows right this could be a hidden divergence that could actually roll into the chart and bring it down if it comes closer to the midpoint so i'm going to be watching that very very carefully and if you look at this we've done a complete transition from the dip areas right and these bull indicators to rip areas here with bright green and what follows after that a possible pullback right not every single one is the same or guaranteed to happen but once we hit those bright greens and we're under a bull indicator for several days eventually there could be a cool off or a slight pullback i'm not stating it has to break back down below the lows but it could be a pullback setting up for the next bull run right i'm going to go ahead and draw it here so you guys could see what i mean but a slight pullback find support above these levels do that staircase effect and bounce up to reach newer highs and newer lows on the way up right and higher lows excuse me so very very important to keep that in mind here based off the higher time frame of the one hour and on the four hour you could see here it's crossed the inflows this is very interesting it's the first time we cross above now the last time we did it was very short-lived on august 25th to the 26th and quickly after we got a bear indicator hopefully it's not that same reaction but i'm going to be watching for this as well if these inflows lose traction and go from green to red and cross back down and do something similar in the effects of this if it were to happen i'll be watching closely but when you zoom in you could see that things are looking strong if this four hour continues to hold and we continue to push up higher from that midpoint and we continue the transitions from red red with green borders to dark green and the next part of this transition would be bright green bars coming after this one 
in the move upwards, which could mean possible further strength. And this is where the resistance levels come into play. So on the four hour, we're under a bull indicator, canceling out that previous bear indicator. The inflows have crossed. We want them to hold. On the one hour, we're above. We do not want this red to come closer down to the midpoint or cross it. If not, hold above and pull upwards and shift from red to green. And for that bull indicator to not get canceled by a bear indicator. And on the 30 minute here, we're having a little bit of volatility here, but bull indicator is back in play, right? So right now we're above the midpoint. We want to stay above it, but if we were to come back towards it and cross it, it could affect the chart and it could start actually showing up here in the charts reaction, right? So what's the first support? The first support is down here at 395, right? If that gets broken through. The next support is down here at 392 and then back down here towards 390 right in the process we do not want to see a bear indicator but if it was to pop up those are the key levels to watch to the downside and how things are reacting here between the inflow versus outflow and if outflows are starting to dominate it could have an impact on the chart now if inflows continue to dominate and we pull upwards well the first resistance is 401 that is going to be a key resistance level if that is accomplished, the next resistance level is 405, and then above that at 406. I believe that's going to be a very important level between 405, 406, and if 406 is broken through, we could then start talking about 408 to 410. But before getting there, we need a break above 401 and see how things are reacting within that area. But these inflows need to continue to dominate based off the 30 minute, based off the 15 minute as well we want to stay above and that these bull indicators do not get canceled out and on the one hour we are going from green to red but we're still above that midpoint and under a bull indicator and we definitely want to see that stay in play stay strong and not change from bull to bear and come down towards the midpoint or even cross it right now we're at 5.21 and one of the highest points that we've hit in the last several days was yesterday at 6.71 i'll be watching for that if we can come towards it or break above it and then touch those resistance levels that we talked about as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money